As frontline healthcare providers, Common Spirit Health has seen the devastating impacts of climate change in the communities we serve. This year, hundreds of fires raged across the Western United States and the Atlantic coast had its most active hurricane season. There's no denying climate change has its fingerprints all over these events and a rising number of catastrophic disasters across the world. The climate crisis calls all of us to action. And yet on November 4th, the U.S. officially withdrew from the Paris Agreement. We are now the only nation in the world to sit on the sidelines. The U.S. must rejoin the Paris Agreement, and it must commit to even bolder leadership and action. Don't count America out. We are not giving up. I'm so proud of Common Spirit Health and our 137 hospitals across 21 states. We are part of an America that has stayed in all along. We know we can't have healthy people, healthy communities, and a healthy economy without a healthy planet. That's why we've committed to bolder goals to reduce our energy consumption and our overall greenhouse gas emissions while increasing our sourcing of renewable energy. We'll continue to use our voice to advocate for meaningful federal and state policies that are aligned to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement. Common Spirit Health is part of an America that has been getting things done. An America that pushed the clean energy transition past the tipping point and is powering past coal, that has doubled the electric vehicle market in just four years and we know that climate action is the path to economic recovery that will unlock millions of jobs. We're part of an America that has unleashed the power of its cities, states, tribes, businesses, colleges, and other healthcare systems and institutions to drive towards a zero carbon future. An America that will continue to unlock the demands for climate action, listening to the science and meeting the challenges because there is no planet B. This is a make or break decade for solving the climate crisis. We can do this and we'll do it together. We're not slowing down. There is so much of America that is still in and soon you will have America's full commitment to again. We are still in.